mass immigration is really bad for American workers. There's no mass immigration. Well, well first of all, how many people are... Wow. Uh, like... Well, you're right. What, there is mass, mass invasion, but... Um, but wow! <laughs> this is... There is a sad state of education in America. It is just ridiculous on college campuses. Today, we got a video of Charlie Kirk absolutely taking down a higher education fool who thinks he's smart, but literally has no intelligence whatsoever. Hey, welcome back to Courageous Media. Thanks so much for joining us. Please like, subscribe, share. Hey, let's dive right into this Charlie Kirk episode. This is gonna be eye-opening. You create a company and that's like, like close to being a fascist and then like- okay. well, How am I- Sorry. Let, let's go through this. How am I a fascist? No. Dude, like you- Can you, can you name one thing I believe that's fascist? Um, you believe that like, you are- <sighs> But I'm, I'm such a okay. bad fascist. I let the people who disagree just, and open mic to talk to me for two hours uninterrupted. Just, okay. I'm right. an awful. Well, don't you know that the definition of fascist is fascisty people doing fascisty things that generate fascisty results? <laughs> to borrow from the from the great Ibram Kendi on his definition of racism. Oh my God, this is going to be ugly. <laughs> awful fascist. I'm more like a free speech liberal the 1970s, not a fascist. But I just want to say Turning Point USA is a evil company that was funded by thousands of fracking companies. And that well, just, you know, it, it's not thousands, but we do have some frackers that give us money. But yeah, have, and then we, all, we have, all it is is making the we rich from more fascist, rich. Fascism to fracking. That's but, all it is. That's but, all it is. OK, again, I'm. Happy to have a debate. I can see you're getting kind of fired up. I'm sorry. So, but what, why why are we evil? Like, we're, we're having a nice discussion. Because all of a sudden, you you're, want, you're calling me Because like, a it fascist. seems like you just want the rich get even more rich. Like, we, we haven't talked about the rich at all. I mean, so do you, you don't even know my positions on this stuff at all. Oh, my gosh. This is just... <laughs> this is like ping pong. This is like ridiculousness. First of all, he calls him a fascist. Okay, great. Why is he a fascist? No, no, no reason. No, no definition. No, no, nothing. And then he says, well, you're a fascist because um, um, actually Turning Point's an evil company. Okay. Um, we went from you're a fascist to Turning Point's an evil company because uh, you take money from frackers. Uh, okay. We went from fascism to fracking. Uh, all right. No, no connection there. B basic major disconnect. And then he's like, okay, well, yeah, we do have a few fracking companies that give us money. Uh, okay. And why is that evil? Uh, because you just want the rich to get richer. Like, oh, okay. I'm, I'm thoroughly confused by this moron. This guy is at a high, <laughs> an institution of higher learning. I can't even get the words out. This is so ridiculous. And he's clearly as stupid as a bowling ball. All right, let's, Keep going, Charlie. This is this is this is gonna be interesting. At all, the wealthiest people absent Elon Musk are all on the left. Jeff Bezos, George Soros, Mark Benioff, Elon Mark Zuckerberg, Lorene Powell Jobs on the left, yes. Expl can you name one tech CEO outside of Elon Musk that is a conservative? Um I personally think let me think. Peter Thiel? Yeah, that's one. That's one. <laughs> um Larry Page, Google. On the left, worth $120 billion. Sergey Brin, Google, $130 billion on the left. If, Lorraine, okay. Lorraine if Powell Jobs, Mackenzie Bezos, Jeff Bezos. If they're on the left, what has they done that was like, quote unquote, to do the left stuff? Well, okay, so Larry Page gives money to left-wing NGOs all the time. Like, if you're on the left, I don't think you will ever be this rich. Well, they are. You know why? Because the but left because is, they're not. No, no because the they're thing. not. The left is a scam. The left uses. How is this? Let me tell you why. It's a good question, actually. The left uses people like you that think that oh, we're gonna fight the rich. Well, they protect their oligarchy. While you guys have to keep on working hard and never own anything. When we conservatives are the ones that actually want to restore the American middle class and bring jobs back to this country. How would you restore? Whole, let me finish. Let me finish. The, the left uses people like you every day. Who is funding? Do I have never seen this guy is the definition of useful idiot. This guy is, you know, thirty million of this fool are what propagated the Russian Revolution of 1917. This guy is a complete moron. He thinks he's educated. He doesn't have a brain in his head. This is sad. Okay. A leftist 
okay. organization come to campus spreading their propagandas? Well, because the whole university is a leftist organization no, it's spreading not. propaganda. It's liberal. <laughs> Left, there's a, there yeah, is but, a clear-cut difference but, between but a it, leftist and a liberal. Please you're, you're, make you're that coming right. after this in a good way because every major powerful wealthy person in the country over $100 billion in net worth, with the exception of one person, Elon Musk, is on the cultural left and gives money to the left. And you guys give them a free pass because you think that we're fascists when in reality, we're the ones that are actually fighting to destroy the oligarchy the most. All right, last question. Last point. Yeah. Last question. Um, let's say, so you do want to fight for the American middle class. And that, that's how, my, yes. Okay, that's how, my how, how does free, freer to market like helps with the well, middle again, class. Again, I, I want I want precision in free markets, but I how I want, does I, how does free market support the middle again, class? Again, I'm not puritanical, but I think that generally more choices are a good thing. I think that generally supporting entrepreneurs is positive. But I, I think that mass immigration is really bad for American work. There's no mass immigration. Well, well first of all, how many people are Oh my God. Where did they Find this ridiculous person. There's no mass immigration. Only 30 million people in the last several years. Oh my gosh, this guy's out to lunch. Wow. Um, like, well, you're right. What, there is mass, mass invasion. But, yeah, um, correct. But how, how many people are coming across the southern border every day? I don't know. But like, so don't know. It's I'm not... actually generally curious. Can you guess? Okay. Um, on what time frame? Every day. Every day. 500? Yeah. It's, it's at a low point, it's at 10,000 right now. It was 15,000 last month. So what is that annualized? Let's play that out. A lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. So that's mass immigration, right? How many green cards do we give out every year? Oh, probably a lot. Yeah, a lot. About yeah. 1.2 million, well, right? What's wrong with giving out green cards? I'm not saying wrong. No, you okay. said there's no mass migration. So I'm just okay. trying to tell you, we do have mass migration, okay. right? We have 3 million on the southern border. And then we have a million green cards, mm -hmm. right? That's four million a year, right? Which is effect basically bigger than most US states. Now, everything comes with a cost. When you have mass migration, you're gonna get lower wages. But that means you're gonna disenfranchise American workers. What, are you studying computer science? Yeah, I am. Okay, so you're an American born, I'm guessing, American raised, I don't, I don't wanna assume. I wasn't, but okay. I moved to the US. Okay, well, you're an American now, I guess. I don't know, maybe yeah, I am. student visa. Okay, you're gonna ha now have to compete you're kind of proving my point, but that's a separate issue. You're now going to have to compete against foreign labor for your computer science jobs. I think we have a moral obligation to American-born workers to give them preference and priority and restrict the labor supply so that our computer science majors can have higher wages, not to have suppressed wages so some tech CEO can uh, bring in a bunch of Indians and suppress their, no, not against Indians, but just you know bring down their wages. Personally, I just think that like if you came to America, and then receive a green card, I think you get, you get to work however you want. Like, okay, I, yeah, think, I, I think, think that American-born citizens should be And then there be shouldn't given. be a priority because they're American citizens. Well, that, that's, as long what, as you're that's where we're different. Citizen. I actually think you must have a priority to your own citizens or else you don't have a government. You have something else. If you don't have a priority to your own people, I don't know what you have. You have a colony, not a country. You're just a big economy. Mm -hmm. and, that, that, and that's fine if that's your position. By the way, your position is held by the ruling elite where I think that we should have a country, not just a colony, where the American-born citizens should be given preference over foreigners. Nothing against foreigners, I think they're nice people, but the Americans should be given first preference. And by the way, any sane country believes that. We're like the only country in the world that says, and certain European countries, come on in and take whatever you want. Wow, <laughs> okay. That guy was eye-opening. That was, if that's the state of higher education in America, it's even worse than a lot of us thought. That was absolutely ridiculous. First, he jumps from fascist to fracking to the rich. Fascist to fracking to he just want the rich to get richer. He pinballs around his argument like there's no tomorrow with zero facts, zero reason, zero logic, zero anything. Finally, we settle in on immigration and he thinks that, oh, there's 500 people a day, that there's no mass migration. In just the Biden administration alone, we are north of 10 million illegal migrants. In just three and a half years, 10 million. That doesn't take into account what happened during all the Obama years. Now, under Trump, it was drastically reduced for four years. But in the last 12 years plus, we're looking at north of 30 million illegal immigrants.
have come across the southern border. That is mass migration. That is mass illegal migration. And that has put a strain on the U.S. economy, on state and local governments. It's, it's absolutely deplorable. Now, this guy is just completely out to lunch. He doesn't even understand when Charlie Kirk said, hey, I am for reviving the middle class. And the best way to do that is free markets. The only way you can build a middle class is with free markets, is with the ability for labor to be mobile, to go from job to job, for labor to be able to say, no, I don't want to work here. I want to work there. To do that, you have to have free choice. You have to have free markets. You have to have the, you have to have the ability to even exit the job market and say, no, I'm going to start my own company. I'm going to do my own thing. I want to be a contractor. I want to be a, a small entrepreneur, like a, a sole proprietor. I want to build something in my own home. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be, uh, I want to hang a shingle and be a piano teacher because I can get enough students and I can make a living that way. That's free market. That is free market capitalism. On the one end, it's being able to assemble capital, build a business, hire employees, scale it, exit it, make a whole bunch of money. That's great. A few people do that. In America, a lot of people do that. But that's not, but a lot relative to other parts of the world, but it's not a lot relative to the entire labor market of the US with a population of 330 million and you know 150 plus million in the labor market and you have thousands that actually run that model that hey build a start a business build it scale it exit it make a whole lot of money most people never get to do that but because of that system because you can enter the the, the business market at any point in time in the United States that keeps that entire field mobile and fluid. And it means that you don't, you're not stuck. You're not a slave. You're not, you're not a serf as you were in medieval Europe where you had no choice. You had to work on that land for that noble and the wages that they paid you doesn't matter. I mean, they got to determine them and you had no say. Now with a free market capitalist economy, you're free to take your labor anywhere you want. If you, if you get stuck in a bad job, you can leave and go to a different one. If you get stuck in three bad jobs, you can decide, you know what? I'm going to be my own employer. I'm going to go do it myself. That's what allows us to build a middle class in this country. And Charlie Kirk is absolutely right. And it's being stifled by the globalist corruptocrats, the elites in government who love mass illegal migration, who want to destroy our free market economy, and who use useful idiots like this guy to accomplish their ends, just like they did in the, in the revolution of 1917 in Russia. We have to guard against this because our institutions are becoming indoctrination centers for socialist, communist, fascist crap. And the, runs, the ones who run around saying that we're fascists are actually the fascists themselves. Hey, this is crazy. We got a country to win back. We got a country to save. We can do it in about six months. The first step is we've got to get out into the arena of ideas and compete and fight. You may not convince this guy, although I think he was on the road to being convinced that he was a little bit wrong. But in the end, there's always a third party watching. In this case, there were dozens of third parties watching that interchange going, wait a minute, Charlie Kirk makes some sense. So we got to do the same thing. And then we've got to make sure that we put Donald Trump in the White House in November. Because otherwise, I think we might lose our country altogether to the globalist corruptocrats like Joe Biden. Let's do it. Remember, in all this, God is good and he is sovereign. It'll all be good in the end. It's not yet good. It's not yet the end.